Welcome back. Now, the holiday season may be some time away, but luggage and backpack major American Tourista doesn't want you to wait that long. They've introduced this whole new range of trendy backpacks, and the brand's ad campaign now says, Tourista, you're every day. This is an 82-year-old brand that we're talking about. American Tourista was acquired uh, by Samsonite in the year 1994. It is one of the world's uh, largest luggage makers. The backpack range now being pegged as one of the fastest growing categories in India among young professionals and college students. So let's uh, find out how the brand is hoping to engage with its target audience uh, with this latest offering of theirs. Anushree Thainwala is Executive Director of Marketing at Samsonite South Asia. She's joining us on this leg of the show. Great to have you with us, Anushree. If you can start off by telling us about uh, the thought uh, behind this latest campaign that you've launched for American Tourista, Tourista You Every Day, how did this come about? American Tourista is very well known in India today. Uh, as a travel luggage brand, uh, so uh, it's synonymous with, with travel. So the idea was that uh, we also wanted to remind our consumers that American Tourist is not just about, uh, it's not just about traveling, about leaving your city, going for a holiday, it's also uh, about your everyday journey. Right. So American Tourist is also your companion in your everyday journey, not just in your uh, journey out of town. So, uh, so that is why we, uh, we decided to uh, you know, just remind our consumers that, uh, that American Tourist is part of your everyday and, uh, and backpacks is the way we are part of your everyday. All right, so tell us what the marketing mix is looking like uh, for this campaign, Anushree. Uh, which medium is your focus uh, for your ad spends this time? The uh, focus is on television, uh, but we are also uh, investing a substantial amount of money on the digital medium this time. And along with that, we are also doing uh, cinema and uh, some... Uh, uh, activations. Of course, uh, Anushri, one can't overstate the power of uh, digital media. So if you can give us a sense of uh, the different initiatives you've launched in this space. In general, digital is very re relevant today, especially to an American who is a con consumer because uh, that consumer is interacting with brands on, on the digital platform, uh, especially for backpacks because uh, the youth are of course more familiar with the digital medium. They're more willing to uh, participate and make it a two-way conversation, not just about the brand pumping in content. Uh, to the consumers. The idea behind a campaign is about making every day uh, a journey ab ab about traveling in your own city, about experiencing your own city. Uh, so just to bring this out, we're doing a bunch of interesting uh, digital, digital ideas where we, uh, where we talk to our brands on the digital platform and then uh, encourage them or show them how to tourist your every day uh, offline as well. And uh, along with that, we're also uh, connecting with our consumers in a lot of malls. Uh, so we've, uh, we've uh, set up uh, uh, activation for within malls where we get the highest traffic of, of consumers to you know, talk to them about the idea, uh, show them how to live the idea that we're, uh, we're right. prophesizing. So if one were to zero in on the profile of an average American tourist uh, customer, how would you go about it? How would you define this person? An average American tourist uh, customer, average American tourist backpack customer especially is uh, is a very is the average Joe of India today. He's someone who uh, who's uh, probably around uh, 25 to 30 years of age, maybe even younger. He, it's maybe he's in his first job right out of college. He takes a bike to work when he goes to work. He is someone who's increasingly looking to uh, travel for short weekend trips. Uh, you know, just get away from the city. He wants to try out new restaurants, try out the new things in his city. But many times it just ends up being a wish rather than a reality. Uh, so, uh, basically just your average Joe, he's our, our consumer. And you know, Samsonite is primarily considered a product that attracts the affluent urban customer. Tell us if there are plans uh, to widen this target audience, uh, if you'd like to introduce some lower cost alternatives, uh, that's something similar to what uh, Project Papu had aimed at doing in the year 2013. Brand Samsonite, no. Uh, that is going to continue being a brand for the uh, premium consumer who's looking for uh, a little bit something more when it comes to uh, design and aesthetics. Uh, but uh, in our group portfolio, we have a large number of brands, uh, each one addressing a different type of audience. So uh, yes, we, are, uh, we have launched a new brand called Chameleon, which is addressing a, a wider audience than what even an American tourist addresses today, going into the uh, smaller towns, the B and C class uh, towns as well. Well, I remember that Samsonite had gone beyond the metros with uh, Project Papu, but uh, unfortunately it didn't generate the kind of response you'd want in the market. A year later, I understand that Samsonite went back to targeting uh, the premium segments. I want to understand what you account this to. If you think the unorganized players have an upper hand when you talk about uh, the low-cost uh, category. 
uh, the unorganized players do have an upper hand, but when we were uh, trying, uh, when we uh, started Project Papu, the idea was not just to go after the unorganized players. There are also organized players that exist uh, in that market today. Uh, in fact, uh, they not only exist, but they get their bread and butter from a market that we do not address with an American tourister today. Uh, so I, I think the, uh, the lack of buzz there was more about uh, we were trying to do it within American tourister itself. And American Tourist today is not that brand. It is a more, uh, for that consumer from a smaller town, it is still a premium brand. And uh, we found it difficult to kind of do both with it, to be the uh, mass brand and to be the lower than mass brand, right? So we are relaunching, we have just relaunched Project Papu with a new brand called Chameleon. Uh, it's a brand that we've launched internationally in many other markets. And it's been, it's worked really well there. So just uh, as of January this year, we've launched the brand in India as well, and the first responses have been very encouraging. So I think we can finally uh, get the buzz we were hoping to get with uh, Project Papu. What's the approach of the brand then now when you talk about uh, the Tier 2, the Tier 3 markets? How different is the strategy there to reach out uh, to rural consumers as opposed to your urban clientele? Uh, our strategy is quite different. Our products are very different because what an uh, urban consumer is, uh, is very, what an urban consumer is looking for is very different from what a rural consumer is looking for today. Uh, so our product strategies are completely different and also the way we reach out to them uh, is different. So for us, uh, uh, out of home plays a, uh, plays a really big role in reaching out to a, a rural consumer today because it's a, a cost effective medium in a smaller city as well. Plus it's something that becomes the talk, you know, talk of the town. Uh, uh, TV becomes harder to reach, reach out to a rural consumer because, uh, I mean to reach out to both because uh, it's, it's an expensive medium at the end of the day. Of course, now the latest buzz is about uh, GPS-enabled luggage. Uh, Samsonite has recently tied up with Samsung to develop uh, the smart luggage, uh, luggage that can be enabled with a GPS chip, uh, and this to obviously help travelers keep a check on uh, the whereabouts, uh, where this luggage goes, because sometimes it's lost and you don't know how to track it. But now tell us about this plan that you have. Uh, by when can we expect it to roll out? I understand that Ramesh Tenwala, your CEO, believes uh, this is going to be the next big thing for the brand. Tell us more. Smart luggage is, of course, the new thing everyone's been talking about, you know, just integrating uh, technology, disrupting the way we use luggage or the way luggage exists today. So, uh, unfortunately, we cannot disclose anything else at the moment about it. But, uh, uh, yes, we, we're working on smart luggage as well. And uh, hopefully, we, we get a commercially viable product uh, out there soon. There are a lot of brands that have come up, come up doing smart luggage, but trying to, uh, trying to make it... Uh, uh, smart in a way that's actually uh, usable by a consumer benefits him and makes his life easier and at the same time at a price that is affordable is where uh, where we're trying to find that balance right so tell us what the market share is of the brand today and who you'd consider as the biggest uh, competitor in the Indian market so it, it's a it's a hard number to pinpoint but uh, in the uh, in the organized uh, player we'd say around the 35 to 40 percent for all our brands put together so we're sure you put a strategy in place uh, for the brand to counter vip your closest rival in uh, terms of market share uh, if you can lay out uh, how you're taking them on the main brands for vip today are vip and skybags which are sort of off, uh, operate in the mass uh, segment which is where american tourister operates today as well uh, and i think american tourister is providing uh, uh, an Indian consumer today, uh, an international premium brand at an affordable price, uh, uh, wi which is how uh, you know we compete with a VIP and, and a sky bag. And along with that, the other part of their, their sale comes from a lower, lower end brands, uh, Alpha and Aristocrat, which we are hoping to uh, target now with our new brand, Chameleon. All right, so Anushree, when you zero in on the USP of Samsonite, uh, the kind of categories that contribute to a bigger percentage of your sales, uh, what would you put it down to? For uh, the brand Samsonite, it, uh, we have almost 50% of our sales coming from non-luggage items. That's uh, business cases, backpacks, uh, duffel bags, gym bags, you know, that, that kind of uh, thing. And 50% coming from luggage. Uh, and when it comes to USP, I think uh, Samsonite today is uh, the only truly international brand out there. Uh, we are uh, present in over 180 countries. There's no other brand in the world that can make that claim that is not from our family. Uh, so to be able to offer a consumer something that is truly unique, uh, that is uh, something that is aesthetically beautiful, because it's not just about functionality when it comes to Samsung. It's, it's also about those little touches which makes the brand stand out, which makes the product stand out. You know, someone who appreciates uh, those finer qualities, finer touches, uh, 
like a piece of art almost in the form of a in the form of luggage and because of our scale because of our size that is something we can bring to our to our consumer at a price at which they uh, they're more they're more than happy to pay uh, so that is definitely you know samsonite's usp going ahead can we expect uh, any new product launches this year i have a lot of new products uh, co uh, coming up uh, but for american users in particular we're looking at uh, Uh, getting different ranges which which cater to these different personalities of a customer right so it's not just about having the one product that fits every type of consumer uh, anymore uh, so for example we've launched a range of tots bags which is a range of bags for kids 2 uh, years and younger uh, we've launched launched a range of bags for school children which is designed spe uh, specifically for an indian school student you know like a, a compartment for your tiffin box and a compartment for your pencil case and it has to be at least uh, big enough to fit an art book inside you know so just very very nuanced fitting the need of a specific set of, of uh, consumers uh, in in the same way we've also launched a, a women's collection you know so it's uh, it's something about where where we are focused more on colors the kind of fabrics we're looking at are a uh, more silky more uh, more casual looking in a way not like structured and bulky looking Um, so yeah, it's uh, exciting times for us as well. We're not going to let you go without uh, sharing a marketing tip for us as well, Anushri. Uh, for me, I think what I, what I have what I have learned uh, sometimes the hard way is that uh, you are not the consumer necessarily. So uh, you know sometimes marketers fall into the trap of uh, of making products for themselves. So they think that you know this. the consumers will like it because i like it or so uh, so that has been you know uh, something that i've really learned uh, that you have to go out there talk to your real consumer not just one consumer uh, a whole bunch of representative consumers to get their real feedback on your products or your ideas